Hello everyone today, this is Edge from Edge Plays. I'm doing something a little bit different today. So you may be aware of me doing things such as Resident Evil playthroughs and being a little Monster Hunter. But there's another game series that I've been really enjoying for the last two and a half years, which is Final Fantasy XIV. And with patch 5.3 coming out in a couple of weeks, on August 11th, I was kind of wanting to do a kind of a vlog of what I've been up to in the last few years and things that for those who might be tempted to give the game a go, maybe an idea of what they could do or maybe entice them a little bit. So this is kind of like hopefully going to be a series of vlog videos showing you some of the things I've been up to. Uh, if you enjoy them or if you want to see anything in particular, let me know. I'm always happy for some feedback and we can obviously, I can obviously look into it and see what else you might be unaware of what you could do. What you're seeing at the moment in the background is a little bit of the gold saucer. So if you weren't aware in Final Fantasy XIV, you do have access to a gold saucer. Uh, if you've played Final Fantasy VII, uh, there was a gold saucer in that with loads of mini games, things you could win and unlock. The same is in same for Final Fantasy XIV. There is a big place you can visit. And what you're watching at the moment is me playing through a mini game called Leap of Faith. The idea is, is that I need to get through an obstacle course, collecting these little cactua trophies uh, in three different colors gold silver and bronze i don't need to collect them but i gain more mgp which is like your gold source of currency and uh, you get these currency for buying things so if you want to get cool little outfits cool little weapon designs glamours hairstyles uh, mounts for example it's a good little bit of fun to take away from the main grind it can be a little bit stressful as you can see i do make a couple of mistakes jumping around but there's all sorts of little mini games. There's like a little card game thing you can play, which I'll show a little bit later on in the vlogs. Uh, Chugabo Racing, uh, a, a fashion show. Your Jimbo sort of sword cutting things. There's so many little mini games you can take a part of, little lotteries as well. And I want to do a little bit more on it, but I thought for now, just having a bit of a chat, see what's about to pop up. This is a leap of faith, and it is timed. You are doing it at the same time as everyone else. When I first did this, it was quite unique because I've never really been aware of MMO like this using a controller where you have to sort of do these like jump mechanics. And um, yeah, it at first it feels a bit weird, but when you get the hang of it, it you get you get quite addicted to it. And it's a nice little bit of fun when you're not playing the main story. Uh, as I've been playing through the game recently, I've been playing as characters. So at the moment, I'm playing as a samurai. We have dressed up a little bit, not weebish, but uh, I like the outfit I've got for them currently at the moment. Uh, you can customise the design of that, and that's another video that I'm going to show off a little bit of how to customise your character a bit as well. Um, and I've also got in this video a little bit later on some of the things I've been doing, like trials. So what can you do? So while we're talking at the moment, what can you do in Final Fantasy XIV um, straight off the bat? What, what have I been doing? Well... Before 5.3 comes out, which is like a really big story thing, uh, there's all sorts of things you can do. Uh, one of the biggest things I'm doing right now is the Gold Saucer, but also my dailies. These are like big popular events that allow you to fight big summon monsters, uh, do these big dungeons, and you can acquire like money, gill in this case, or items that you can use to equip your characters. Because I don't have much of a crafter going at the moment, I use that to gain a bit of money for myself so that when anything cool comes out, I can buy it for my house. As you can see now, I've just completed that uh, mini event. And you can do it as many times as you want, as long as it's in that slot. Uh, this here I'm showing you right now is my first sort of trial my dailies. So do a little bit of uh, gold saucer and fighting Titan, a uh, earth summon. One of the biggest benefits of doing these daily events, such as hunting Titan, doing dungeons, raids and so forth, and guild tests, these are all things that I'll go through in another video, is you can all level up your alt characters. So at this point, my samurai is not my main character class. My main, normally at the moment, recently, is dancer, white mage and gunbreaker. So I like having a bit of a variety. And what I will do when I go into these vlogs a bit more, is show you the different characters you can play as, the differences between, say, what the classes do, and kind of a bit more emphasis on what's going on. I do apologise, this is new to me, so 
in terms of being able to articulate myself quite well, it's it's exciting and a bit sort of nerve wracking because normally when you're doing the uh, Resident Evil videos or the uh, Monster Hunter ones, we're taking video and audio of myself where I haven't had to think this up. So this has taken a bit longer to come out. So I do hope that the future vlog videos that are going to come out will be a bit more structured and a little bit more incentive as to what you to expect. The next one I'm going to release later this week is going to go over a little bit more of the gold saucer and also my house and a little bit of how to customize your character. Um, if there's anything you want to see in particular, especially for those who might want to who's play on August 11th, any questions, leave a comment in the vlogs and I will make sure to answer that question in the next vlog. But uh, I hope you enjoy watching the last bit of this fight with Titan. Um, spoilers, obviously we kick his ass. Um, but I hope this gives you a little bit of an insight. I do apologise. Is I am hopefully going to get better at promoting this sort of vlog series. And I do, I do, I am excited because this is a sort of game I've been very passionate about for the last two and a half years. I've really enjoyed it. My experience with MMOs is quite limited in the way of um, I was on the first. I played Vanilla WoW when it was vanilla. Didn't enjoy it. Um, I played RF Online for those who may have heard that RPG, uh, Guild Wars, Fast Star Online, Fast Star Universe. So I have dabbled in MMOs, but this has been the first one that I've really enjoyed and stuck to. And I, I kind of want to share it. And hopefully in these vlogs I'm going to make, you're going to see that passion and enjoy it. But uh, yeah, tell me what you think. And if you've got any questions anything you want to ask about what you can do in the game as i make these just let us know and it helps me kind of get better at what i'm doing but thanks again and take care